So welcome to another really interesting hacker rank challenge. You can see the difficulty level here is medium and it says cycle detection. How do we detect a cycle in a linked list? So I'm going to go to my whiteboard and let me just explain it to you. So it's called the hare and the tortoise uh, race. <laughs> so what it simply means is once the hare and the tortoise, they start running from a place from a particular point, then if they are running in a straight line, they will never meet. If they ever met, it means there was a cycle. It means the hair may have repeated certain cycle. So that is as simple as it is. So let me just explain to you in this situation. So once the, uh, the hair starts running, he's running so fast, he's running so fast. Since he's running at two times the speed of the, to of the tortoise, then he's going to meet the tortoise at some point. But assuming there is no cycle, so let's assume there is no cycle in a situation like this, okay? And the race continues indefinitely, they will never meet. So that's the thing. You're going to set the hair and the tortoise to start from the head. So you have two pointers. And one pointer is going to be moving in two steps, that is the hair, which is moving fast. And the second pointer is going to be moving in one step. So in that way, we've set the hair to move fast and the tortoise to be moving slow. And in that case, if they ever meet at some point, then there is a cycle. If they never meet, then there is no cycle. So that is how simple this, uh, this uh, challenge is. And let me just write it exactly the way I explained it. So the first thing you want to do here is to say that if the head is null, if the head is null or none in Python, return, return none, okay? So at this point, we are going to initialize two pointers. One of them is the head. It's going to be starting at the same place, starting from the head and the tortoise, tortoise. <laughs> So both of them are pointers also starting in the head. So now the hair is going to be moving two, uh, two times fast. So let's say while, while the hair uh, dot next, while the hair is not null and the hair dot next is not null. While the hair uh, is not null, because at that point we've not gotten to the end of the list. So while the hair is null, and hair dot next is not none, okay? So while these items have not gotten to the next uh, to the end of the list, we simply are going to iterate. So we are going to say the hair is going to move two times faster than the tortoise. So I'm going to say the tortoise uh, becomes tortoise dot next while the hair is going to be hair dot next dot next. So this is how to set the speed of the two animals right here. And we are now going to do our check if hair is equal to the tortoise. If this ever happens, then we are going to return a one, which indicates that there was a cycle. But if this loop completes and it did not return at this point, then we are simply going to return zero, meaning that there was no cycle. So this is exactly how simple this code is. So you have to initialize the two of them to start from the same place, from the head, and you are going to iterate while the hair is not known because the hair is ahead, he's running faster. So while the hair is not known and the head of next is not known, uh, then because if, 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 if it's none, of course, it's going to return at this point. So in case it exits and when they never meet, meet then it's going to be zero. So I'm going to kind of uh, run this code and let me see what we have here. You can see that it passed the two test cases. I'm going to submit and let's see how it goes. And we see that it also passed the uh, seven test cases right here. So this is exactly how to solve cycle detection in linked lists. I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and also find out other challenges about linked lists in the description box below. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.